Hey there, today we're going to have a look at another three devices from Third Reality. This time we're looking at a garage door sensor, a water leak sensor and a bridge that allows you to connect the Zigbee devices directly to any Matter controller. So I do like the way that Third Reality is thinking, whereby they create all of their sensors to connect primarily via Zigbee, which is such a ubiquitous standard. And then they allow a matter bridge so that if you really want to connect to things like HomeKit, you can do so. So the smart garage door tilt sensor going for 20 US dollars. As you can see, you just install it on the underside of one of the door sections. I would definitely go on one of the upper sections rather than the lower section so that you make sure that it actually switches over from vertical to horizontal. So this garage door opener works on quite a different principle to any others that I've used. They normally have a reed switch which is measuring either open or closed. This one however is either in this position when the door is closed or it goes into the upside down position when the door is open. So effectively it's measuring the angle of the device either horizontal or vertical and switching on and off the switch. So if we have a look at this device, very similar to the other third reality devices, it's running off two AAA batteries. We then have a siren that can be used that you can trigger in one or other position. We've got a reset button and then we've got our levels. So this is level of detection, whether it's a very high, high, medium or low. So looking at the sensor within Home Assistant, it's either in the off position, which is vertical, and then if we move it into the horizontal, you'll see it gives us a nice loud beep, and it moves into the horizontal. If we move it back to the vertical, it then changes back to vertical, and give us another beep if the siren is on. So the water leak sensor is telling for $20.99 US. It has a 120 dB alarm, and it certainly is really loud. Once again, this is a Zigbee sensor. So having a look at the water leak sensor, it's quite a different design. They've put it in this sort of water droplet design and it's got holes here for the speaker. And on the underside, it's got a very interesting little piece of metal that goes along here. And these are the two points that it measures between. So if I touch that with my finger, you'll see that it goes into the beeping mode and telling us that it's got water. On the inside of the water sensor, very simple again with the two double A's and then we've got our reset and pairing button. Having a look within Home Assistant, we've got our sensor over here, so it's dry at the moment. We can enable or disable the siren, I like that. We can actually adjust that via Home Assistant and then we've got the time that the siren beeps for and we've got a battery measurement. So if I now go and touch these two sensors, gives off there we go, it's wet and it lets off a very, very loud beep. So we're certainly going to know when that's going off. The SmartBridge MZ1 is selling for $29.99 US and this is now to designed to bridge from any of the Zigbee third reality devices over to any Meta standard uh, systems. So you could port it through to HomeKit, Google, Amazon, SmartThings, so in order to get this working, you need to download the 3R installer and we can then open that up. And over here, you'll see that we've got our smart bridge. I've already connected it up and I've got one of the Zigbee temperature sensors connected up directly to the smart bridge. Now, if I want to share this with another system, I effectively click on the link matter enabled services and then I've got my code over here so I go here and I copy this to the clipboard. We're going to say it's already in use. We're going to call it another controller and we're going to paste that code in over there. And then we're going to go done and we're going to add that device. So if we now go into our Matter devices in Home Assistant, we can see here that we've got the smart bridge. And if we go over here, we can see that we've got that temperature and humidity sensor coming through 
and we've also got the battery coming through there. Well, that's all for now. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and please let me know what your thoughts are on what Third Reality is doing. If you've really enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.